When purchasing equipment, fire suppression tends not to be at the top of people's lists. But if you're in the manufacturing world, and certainly if you're running lights out, it needs to be something you consider. Let me show you what we did. So we've actually kicked the idea around of adding fire suppression to our systems for years. But it wasn't until we had an event that it really expedited the process. Fire! Oh, fire! Oh my goodness! What's the procedure? Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down! So there are four elements of the fire tetrahedron you need to create fire. You need heat, oxygen, fuel, and a chemical reaction. We got those first three and we never quite reached that fourth one, which is what saved us. What happened is we had chips that started to pile up. They were in contact with rotating equipment and they were never getting cleared away. So they just continued to heat up and heat up and heat up and heat up. And eventually they started to smolder and smoke. We grabbed a fire extinguisher and we put it out. So technically there was no actual fire event, but we got way too close. So we finally went ahead and pulled the trigger on a fire suppression system. We purchased it from Firetrace and we bought one of their indirect application systems. So if you take a look inside the machining chamber, up at the top, you'll see this red tube. That is a heat and flame sensitive tube. And so if you can imagine our scenario that we had, we had chips building up and they're being rubbed by other parts and so there's a lot of heat being generated. We've got plenty of oxygen and then the fuel, this coolant, generally speaking it's pretty flame resistant, uh, hard to light on fire when it's a liquid, but as machining operations are being taken place, um, a lot of it starts to particleize and that adds more surface area to it and makes it easier to catch on fire. And so if that were to have happened, um, that would have finally given us that, that last piece, that continued chemical reaction. If that were to happen in here, the heat and the flame generated from that would have reached this sensitive tube and it would have degraded and melted and that would have released the pressure that's inside of it. The pressure inside of this holds a valve that would then be able to actuate. Once that valve moves, there is another line, a much bigger one, that would allow the release of the suppressing agent into the chamber through that nozzle over there. And then that would put the fire out. It would take away its oxygen. It would um, suppress the entire thing. Some things to think about if you're looking at purchasing a system. Obviously, your shop environment, how many people are around, fluids, things you're cutting, that's gonna drive the system you purchase in terms of style and suppressing agent. Once you go ahead and get that, some other items that you might want to think about is, you know, if you get one like ours, remember this tube is pressure or is pressurized. It's uh, sensitive. You want to give it the least amount of opportunity to be struck or broken in any way because that's going to discharge your system. If that happens, you're going to have to have, you know, an agent come out and refill it for you. If you follow it from our tank here all the way to this black box, um, this is an electrical box. This is critical as well. When I was speaking with the fire trace guys, they, they made mention of me on more than one occasion. You know, it's shocking the number of people who forget to hook this up. If you forget to hook this up and you have an event, all right, cool, your suppressing agent gets discharged and puts the fire out. This to make sure that the machine shuts off. If you don't shut the machine off, you're gonna put the fire out for a short amount of time, but it's gonna come right back. This electrical box, they are not going to hook up. They're gonna mount it here and make sure that it has all the equipment but they don't have machine expertise such that they can just wire it up to your machine to make sure that the machine shuts off. My only experience is with Firetrace, but I would imagine this is true for others as well. You're gonna either have to call in an electrician or maybe you have an in-house tech or you're willing to do it yourself and they will help you. If you give them a call, um, they do have a lot of experience, but this ultimately is gonna be your job to take care of. Now, fortunately, I can't rate the system today because We've never had it go off, and that's a good thing. That said, I will say, in terms of customer service, helping you, knowledge, and just a variety of options, 
I would definitely recommend Fire Trace to anybody else in the market for a suppression system. Multiple different suppression agents, styles. Um, they even go into some different markets other than just machines. So if you're looking for somebody to call, I would highly recommend them if you're in the market for something to just make your workplace a little safer. For more tips and reviews, make sure to like and subscribe. And I really hope that I don't have to make a follow-up video on this one.